Despite failing to extend his goals tally against Simba Bora, Kamabeliat was once more in the thick of things and often at the end of receiving some tough tackles. Beliat says that he is not faced by the physical treatment he has been getting in most games, but is rather motivated to toughen up and improve his play. It's difficult. It makes me better as a player. Uh, I like the challenge. I, I like it. Uh, I have to find spaces. I have to, to, to be better in some areas. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, you find myself only being uh, down every now and then, being kicked. Uh, left, right and centre, but it's okay, it's okay, it's part of the game, it makes me better. And I like that and uh, I have the support from my teammates, I have the support from the, from the coaches and uh, our, our, our fans came, came to support us and that's what, we, that's, what, that's what the game is about. No, uh, it's part of the game, if I get kicked I cannot be Samson, I'm not stronger than anyone else. So I have to, uh, if I get kicked, uh, if I have to stop, I have to stop, but yeah. Uh, I just have to be better and uh, work on my game and work on, uh, that we can work together as a team and come out of the situation like this. Timon is some talent, if you ask me. Timon is some, ta some talent. If you recall, last year I said it and uh, he is proving it. I mean, he's a, he's a natural bowler, if you ask me. Uh, he's got everything that you look in a player. Aerial is good. He's good with the ball. He can shoot. He can, he can, he can score from any, any angle. So, yeah. That, that has been him since last year, and hopefully he can he can uh, he can keep going. Um, if he if if he if he becomes very clinical, Timon will easily get to the 20 goal mark. So yeah, let's hope he can he can keep uh, the focus, keep working, and then hopefully he can he can get there. Caps United ended a seven-year winless run against FC Platinum with a 1-0 victory at Trufaro on Sunday. Lord Kitembe was pleased with the win, which he hopes will mark a turn of fortunes for their season. What was critical for us was obviously to try and use pace during the wide, in, in, in the wide areas because we realized that they were playing with a very compact three and uh, the only spaces that we could use were the wide areas and I'm happy with the with, with, um, with, with, with Junior, as well as his Phineas, I thought they were very, very explosive today. And, uh, you know, Wizzo, Wizzo, Wizzo is Wizzo, and uh, he's, he's, he's a natural born, born scorer. And, and uh, these things, they just come naturally to him, and I'm, I'm excited. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the sky is the limit for him. He, he has worked so, so hard for him to, to, to get where he is, and I, 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 I just hope that he continues working exactly the very same way that is. Manika Diamond's coach Jairo Stapera took time after the defeat to address the rumours of his future at the club. My friend, I've got a contract and everybody respects the contract. I'm contracted to Manika Diamond and I will continue you know, respecting and doing the job that I've been doing. Remember, we, we, we can look at the three, four games that we have you know, probably draws and do you know that last year we, 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 we played 37 games playing away and all those, those, those achievements, they are water under the bridge. You are only looking at these three, four, five draws. Then we, we, we are not football people if we are of that mind. Uh, it's a marathon. We, we have got more than 10 games to play. We can win three games in a row and somebody might lose two games. We are, we are, we are there. The win took chicken in to within two points of Manika Diamonds on the log table. Here is chicken in coach Joey Antipas. What was really key was um, our rest period. Uh, when we went to ZPC Kariba, it was our last game of the week. And uh, our travel arrangements weren't good, so the boys were fatigued. So I'll blame that for us. It's a good win for us, it's a big win because uh, we lost to um, Manika Diamonds in Mutari the last time around, controversially, but so for us it's a sweet win. Elsewhere, Dynamos were held to a 1-1 draw by Blawayo Chiefs at Barberfield. The draw was Dimbara's 12th in 22 league matches this season. Dynamos coach Genesis Mangombe will once again shed his frustration at his side's failure to collect maximum points. We are still crying of, of the same uh, problem. Uh, I thought it was going to be uh, much better if we if we, 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 we had registered a striker during the window, but we failed. 
Meanwhile, Blawayo Chiefs coach Tulani Sibanda was full of praise for his side. Yeah, like, uh, like I said, when we lost to Wanki, that we were in a transition period. We, we lost eight key players. Uh, so we are literally assembling a new team. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Zetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.